Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. We got the new print, the latest design here. It is Lightning Boogie. All down the sleeve, it looks freaking sick. Super stoked with how this one turned out. If you guys want to get some merch, head on over to boogieeveryday.com. But this morning, we got you early. I'm pretty excited for this one. We are heading to a little spot that I've surfed a few times. But the difference is that I'm not wearing socks this time. So I just got out to the back. And I won't lie, that's probably one of the tougher paddles I've had in a very long time. There's a crazy wedge in the corner. I'll try to get there. But I think where I am now, it's probably the spot to be. It's really fun. But the paddle out here is gnarly. I'm gonna try, I'll try to do a full paddle out after a wave and show you guys. But that probably took me like five minutes, I guess. Maybe a little longer. I know it's heavy. That's heavy on the bank. It is coming up. It's going from, it's going from low to high at the moment. So, I'm sure there'll be some good waves, still be kind of draining off the bank, but it's going to get more and more fat. And hopefully there'll still be some around. I saw, I saw plenty when I was paddling off, so let's hope, let's see. It's time to get sandy. look good like this and you get like all amped up you get like a little jittery i'm like a little jittery like frothing because there's good waves but also need to keep the heart rate down to have like a decent surf otherwise just redlining the whole time is not good so breathing exercises in through the nose out through the nose Repeat that cycle, try some box breathing, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, hoping for a couple. There's definitely some out here. Definitely some big ramps like this. Big wavy lunch. So sure that you watching it at home when you see me go up for those sections and it's like you get those like mega ramp balls where you just look like it's often what happens is like just before i'm going up or like as i'm going up hit this like chop in the face or you know like something happens either on the way down you choose the wrong line or on the way up you kind of like looking at another section or looking at another bowl and then the one in front of you like steps in so i'm gonna keep putting these ones in like you can kind of like see like that last one just took the wrong line to it but a lot of the time you can see i'll be like going up and something will happen either there'll be like a spray on the camera or uh like i'm just choosing the wrong line to like aim at that section and that's why you're not bailing out like
haven't really got anything because the wind's kind of been blowing like cross shore and all of a sudden kind of swung and gone directly offshore which so I'm thinking this wedge again I saw it I didn't like fully commit earlier I saw it down here and I kind of cuddled here and then I was like you know missed one or two didn't see any travel back down there and the last few that have come through have been really good here so I'm gonna actually hang on the wall and try and see if I can get a couple I got like my expectations are way lower after earlier because the expectations were high when I first got in got nothing now they are low so if I get anything it'll probably be better than what I've already got let's see into this bit you guys heard me speaking at the start super and super pumped up offshore it's good get out here don't get a couple get down and down I mean like emotionally down now I'm sitting out here frustrated because I'm not surfing good because I raised my expectations before I came out here and I think to myself I don't know if it's worth it I don't know if it's worth coming out here and feeling like that when this is something I'm supposed to be enjoying. So now I'm going to lower the expectations to absolutely nothing. If I get a good wave, you know, spoke. If I don't, that's okay. Still in the water. And I think that's a good way to look at it. Even though I know I'm maybe not optimizing my time. At least I can come out of it on a little bit of a positive and not be so grouchy after the surf. Because that's what I would have been. If I got out in a little bit, I would have been grouchy. But change the mindset, enjoy myself. And don't get me wrong, I've had a couple waves. You know, we've had the uh, we had the forward at the start, had that little barrel now, and a couple others, but I had high, high expectations here. I'm gonna bring that right down. And if not, at least I got on the water. At least I'm getting getting some fitness, paddling around. Very positive. They'll come. Let's hurry. You know, you always 
have that one wear tooth that you put on and as soon as you get into the water it's just like a jet of what of water on your groin area that's the sweatsuit right here as soon as i get in freaking full up with water straight onto the crotch not a huge fan not gonna lie especially in the current temperatures that we're having how how does this happen i don't know so yeah session number two for the day so we just moved a little bit south a little bit south from where we were earlier the reason for that is it's pretty solid there and the wind is kind of channeling through that little gap Crazy offshore the whole time. You couldn't really get away from it. Real bumpy. Jumping up the whole time. Yeah. Little wedge off the cliff. Little something. Hopefully something. Get a couple. We're definitely wedging here. We'll we'll be able to slide into some. Whether they be little barrels, little air sections. Something's gonna happen. There's wedges. about a carb in reverse that just feels so damn good. Am I right? Woo! Oh man. When you really get into it, put the rail on. Woo! I love that. remember how good fruit leaves used to be like fill that bowl up with milk 
toss the fruit lids in. Keep them while they're still hard. And you get like a the top of your mouth goes like on and all. Ooh. Might just be because I'm a bit hungry right now, but holy sh I remember my mom never used to let me eat them, ever. But when I could sneak them, you used to get those little calogs, the small boxes. Yo, and I used to, I used to take those and I used to get like as many as I possibly can, put them all in a bowl together and then just eat them till my mouth was raw. Oh man, I'm hungry. I need to get some food in me.